I just hope that I don't spend my whole time crying like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said before, it'd be happy tears if I do. Army Corporal Henry Lewis Helms went missing in action back in December of 1950 in North Korea after his unit was attacked. Almost 70 years later, Helms' remains were one of 55 who were turned over by North Korea in July of 2018 after then-president met with Kim Jong-un. Helms was accounted for in April of 2020 after his remains were identified using material evidence and DNA. I was sitting over there and I said, oh Lord, it would be so good if Lewis was in one of them. Sure enough, he was. I didn't feel like he was. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I didn't have the feeling until they told me. Helms' youngest sister, Evelyn Snyder, was only two years old and has only a few memories of her brother. He was leaving, and we were walking down by the side of the train for him to get on. Anyway, the train whistle blew, and it scared me so bad, I started crying, and I got him around the neck, and I wouldn't let go. And oh. <laughs> he kept pulling my arms because he had to go. Uh, that's why the whistle blew, I guess, is because it was fixing to pull out. Snyder said she had a tough battle with COVID, and she said she wanted to get through it for her brother. But I think this is one of the reasons I'm still here. A flag and wriggled will represent Helms and honor him for his sacrifice. I didn't try to get one for Lewis. is because Mother didn't want to get one. She said that she didn't want a flag until Lewis came home. Brian Armstrong, News 12 Now.